The Samsung Galaxy Fold was off to a rocky start, with reviewers having damaged displays and particles getting in through the back of the phone, hence making the fragile display useless, forcing Samsung to collect those units for further testing and postpone the launch till it resolves the issues. Well, according to reports, those issues have been resolved and the Fold is ready to get back into the market. My name is Keno and you're watching Anchor Tech. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. A new report says that Samsung has completed its redesign of the Galaxy Fold to fix the screen. The report says that the protective film which some reviewers had peeled off has now been stretched to wrap around the entire foldable display and flows into the outer bezels so that it's impossible to peel off by hand. You couldn't have done that earlier. Samsung has also re-engineered the hinge. It's now pushing slightly upward from the screen and is flushed with the display. So it's gonna be more difficult for particles to get in through the hinge and make its way to the display. Samsung is already shipping components for the fold, such as the display and the battery, to a plant in Vietnam for assembly. So we can expect it to launch quite soon. Although the launch date is still being debated. My guess is sometime in October or November to give the Galaxy Note 10 some time to breathe but definitely before the holiday season, because it's highly unlikely for Samsung to relaunch the Fold alongside the Galaxy Note 10, but anything can happen. Speaking of the Galaxy Note 10, Samsung released a teaser video that confirms the launch date to be August 7th at Samsung's Unpacked event in New York. The teaser didn't reveal much about the Note 10, it just shows the S Pen drawing a single camera hole, which is confirmation that both the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Pro will have a single selfie camera. In other news, oh, I sound like a guy from BBC. In other news, Samsung has announced a new NPU technology that is aimed at improving the on-device artificial intelligence speed, and it's also more power efficient. It comes with quantization in turbo learning that retains data accuracy by reorganizing the data in bits smaller than their current size. Glasky. Sorry, sir, no clue. This means the 4-bit neural network can be created while maintaining the accuracy of a 32-bit network. Samsung says the on-device AI technology can reduce the cloud construction cost for AI operations since it operates on its own without a cloud and provides quick and stable performance. The on-device artificial intelligence can also save biometric information such as fingerprint, iris and face scans right on the smartphone and it's also capable of computing large amounts of data at high speeds without consuming excessive power. This neural processing unit will allow for artificial intelligence computations independent of an external cloud server. Samsung also plans to expand its artificial intelligence algorithm to memory and smart sensor solutions in the future. So basically, Bixby will get better. It has to. Let me know what you think about this new NPU in the comment section below. And when do you think would be a right time for Samsung to relaunch the Galaxy Fold? Let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.